Reproduction, an important biological process occurring in living organisms, ensures continuity of life. Organisms reproduce either asexually or sexually. In the case of sexual reproduction, we see the fusion of male and female gametes, which are either produced by the same individual or by different individuals of the opposite sex. Though organisms which engage in sexual reproduction vary in their external and internal structure, the pattern of sexual reproduction remains quite similar. All organisms, for instance, go through three phases of life. The juvenile phase, reproductive phase, and senescence phase. The juvenile phase is a period of growth which is characterized by an increase in height in all animals including human beings. Whereas in plants we see the emergence of new leaves during the juvenile phase. Did you know that in plants the juvenile phase is known as the vegetative phase? Interestingly, the duration of the juvenile or vegetative phase varies in different organisms. In human beings, for instance, the juvenile phase lasts for 13 to 16 years in the case of females and 13 to 15 years in males. Whereas a mango tree remains in the vegetative phase for around 3 to 5 years. The juvenile phase is succeeded by the reproductive phase in both plants and animals. In the case of plants, this phase is marked by the appearance of flowers or vegetative propagules such as runners. However, while some plants such as the rose flower throughout their lifespan, others such as the mango flower seasonally. Interestingly, in the case of mango, which also happens to be a perennial plant, it is very difficult to define the various phases of life. That's because perennials, which have a long reproductive phase, keep shedding their leaves throughout the year or once a year in winter. The shedding of leaves can be misinterpreted as a sign of the senescent phase. However, it is easy to identify the phases in the case of annuals and biennials. As all three phases of an annual plant occur in one year, whereas biennials have a two-year life cycle in which the plants enter the vegetative phase in the first year and the reproductive followed by the senescent phase in the second year. Did you know that certain plants such as bamboo flower only once in a hundred years, produce fruits and then die? Similarly, Strobilanthus kuntiana or Nila Kuranji flowers every 12 years? Just as plants develop specialized structures during the reproductive phase, animals too show certain morphological and physiological changes. In human beings, for example, the reproductive phase, which starts with puberty, leads to the development of male and female secondary sexual characters such as facial hair in male and breasts which are seen more prominently in females. Moreover, females of all placental mammals, including primates and non-primates, demonstrate cyclical changes in the activities of their ovaries and accessory ducts, as well as hormones during the reproductive phase. Known as the menstrual cycle in primates, and the estrus cycle in non-primates. 
these cycles stop once the female becomes pregnant and resume after the female has given birth to offspring. Moreover, placental mammals, especially those living in the wild, exhibit these cyclical changes as well as breed only during favorable seasons. These mammals are therefore called seasonal breeders. Sheep, for instance, have spring as their favorable season for breeding. Breeding during spring allows for the birth of lambs at an optimal time. That is, when the weather is warm and there is plenty of grass and water available in nature. In human beings, on the other hand, the females experience the menstrual cycle and are active throughout their reproductive phase. They are therefore called continuous breeders. The end of the reproductive phase in living organisms coincides with the beginning of the senescent phase, during which we see changes such as senility, non-existence of the menstrual or estrus cycle, and slowing of metabolism. Senescence ultimately leads to death. Interestingly, the transition between the three stages is controlled by hormones as well as environmental factors. For instance, the release of the hormone estrogen triggers the menstrual cycle in girls. Moreover, girls living in tropical regions experience menstruation at an earlier age than those living in temperate regions. In most organisms, the reproductive phase plays a crucial role as it ensures continuity of life.